Kamala Harris still has not commented on the Andrew Cuomo scandal. And, uh, and that's, you know, an issue because she had plenty to say, of course, about Brett Kavanaugh, uh, about Donald Trump's sexual harassment accusers and so on. She was one of the big, uh, believe all women people. And she hasn't said anything about the sexual harassment claims against Andrew Cuomo. Jen, uh, Pisaki was asked about that. And, and here's what she said. Vice President Kamala Harris was one of the most vocal critics of Justice Brett Kavanaugh, of Senator Al Franken, when they faced similar allegations. She said repeatedly, I believe them, the women. But she hasn't said anything about the three women who are accusing Governor Andrew Cuomo. And now this third accuser, Anna Roosh, she actually worked for the Biden-Harris campaign. So at what point is the first female vice president going to say something about this? Well, I, I know that's how the, the uh, vice president continues to feel. And uh, the benefit of doing a briefing every day is that I can certainly speak on behalf of the president and the vice president. And so let me reiterate that uh, they both believe that every woman coming forward should be heard, should be treated with dignity and treated with respect. Uh, as you all know, the New York attorney general will oversee an independent investigation with subpoena power. Uh, and the governor's office said he will fully cooperate. And we certainly support that moving forward. But as you know, it's, it's one thing to hear it from you, and it's appreciated, but it's another thing to hear it from the vice president or the president himself. Can we expect to hear from either of them on this topic anytime soon? Well, again, I'm speaking on their behalf. That's how they feel. Uh, they're personally both view this as a, a, a situation where uh, both, all of the women coming forward should be treated with dignity and respect and should have their voices heard. Uh, and that's uh, the representation of their points of view. Mm. Okay, sure. Now we have to we have to clarify again. We have to stipulate that uh, that that of course, uh, every time this comes up, we have to say that this is not the real Andrew Cuomo scandal. Uh, this is not even the real Andrew, the, the Andrew Cuomo scandal that we primarily need to hear Kamala Harris talking about, um, or or condemning. The the real scandal is are the policies that he put in place that led to the deaths of thousands of elderly people in his state. That's the real scandal, not the fact that he, you know, touched a woman's cheek and flirted with some women uh, on the job. That's inappropriate behavior uh, as opposed to killing lots of people. So not the real scandal. But as far as that goes, you you notice this shift, pretty obvious. It's not a very nuanced shift, so I'm sure anyone can notice it. But you notice this shift that uh, the Democrats do now because Originally, you hear what she said. She said, well, we believe that all women should be treated with dignity and respect and they should be heard. So any woman who has an accusation, we should treat them with respect and they should be heard. That's what she says now, which obviously, yeah, we all agree. We can all agree in principle, in theory, treat people with respect. If someone has a a claim, an accusation, we'll hear it. Let's let's listen. But that's not what they said in the past. What they said in the past was, believe all women. There is a big difference, I'm sure you could probably spot, between hear all women and believe all women. Pretty big difference. And so they're they're making that that little subtle adjustment and hoping we don't notice. Well, it's basically the same thing. No, it's not at all. Because our point all along, and when I say our, I mean uh, the rational people, um, and increasingly, that is really the real dividing line in American culture now. It's irrational people versus irrational people. But our point all along was, yeah, we'll hear everybody. Uh, we'll hear her. You know, if someone has a claim, we'll, we'll listen to you. W- what is it? But we're not going to believe it simply because we heard it. The believing part requires reasons, evidence. That's, that's where that comes in. Listen. Hit that subscribe button right now. Do it right now. I thank you for your compliance. It is somewhat appreciated.